You want to be able to drink less, but have your body rocking so good that when you do drink, you really feel it. When you think you know what you're doing, you're actually probably just a beginner. So I gotta admit to you guys, I am a lightweight and a cheap date. And the funny thing is, I am totally proud of it because it's actually a sign of health and power shows that my body works really well. And when I put something in it that doesn't belong there, whew, it lets me know. Just the other day, I was out with my wife and kids. We went out for Mexican for what I call my hour to devour, which is really my cheat hour, where once a week I kind of go to town, eat whatever the heck I want. And so we did burritos and we shared a giant margarita. And my wife has a little more of a tolerance than me, puts in an extra shot of tequila. And we're sitting there and after about a half of one of these giant margaritas, it hits me like a ton of bricks. It's bam. Oh my God, I can't drive home. So she's like, let's go shopping. It's in the same center. So we walk on into Bed Bath & Beyond. We're walking around, I'm totally hazy. And I see that there's a little massage chair there. Sit down in it, close my eyes, get super comfortable. And all of a sudden the guy comes by and says, uh, excuse me, sir, can I help you? And instead of getting offended, I was actually really lucky. If he hadn't said that at that moment, I would have completely fallen asleep on that massage chair because it was quite a comfortable experience. So people come up to me all the time and these guys are like, well, how do I get a six pack like you and still be able to drink and enjoy myself? And I tell them the secret is to lower your alcohol tolerance. Now, when they're saying lower my alcohol tolerance, what do you mean by that? Like drink less? And I'm like, well, that's part of it. You want to be able to drink less, but have your body rocking so good that when you do drink, you really feel it. But let's face it, busy leaders, we tend to have addictive personalities. So given that fact, you gotta realize that when you can't control your alcohol, you start getting big issues of inflammation, you start gaining weight, and you lose your focus and mental clarity and start getting into things like poor decision making, which is the last place you wanna be as a busy leader. So what happens when you drink alcohol? Well, the ethanol in the alcohol, it gets oxidized, which converts it into acetaldehyde with NAD as that oxidizing agent. So from there, it's gonna end up turning into acetate, which is gonna determine, based on how fast that happens, whether or not you're gonna get hungover. The problem is, your body looks at this acetaldehyde as a poison, and it's gonna process the alcohol first before it ever gets to the calories from your food. So you definitely don't wanna be eating a bunch of food or load up your stomach before you drink because what's gonna happen is you'll burn through that alcohol and you'll store all that food as fat. So if you are gonna drink alcohol, what supplement should you take? Well, I'm a big fan of activated charcoal, which is a great way to bind toxins, and you can even get a coconut-based activated charcoal source. Next, I would look at NAD, which is great for your liver, and milk thistle, which is one of the best products you can take to help clean everything out. Lastly, make sure that you take a great electrolyte drink. I'm a big fan of Ultima. They have a great electrolyte option that isn't gonna have all that sugar. So if you're out at a restaurant and you're looking at the menu and you're trying to figure out what to drink, what are the best choices? Well, in general, you're gonna to wanna to avoid beer. You wanna go with some of the harder alcohol options that are a lot lower in sugar. Vodka, tequila, whiskey, scotch, and maybe make a mocktail out of it that's a little bit more of a keto cocktail without all the sugar and the chemical additives. A Moscow Mule, for example, is a great choice. And if you're at home, you can use a Zevia ginger beer and just make sure when you're out, try to get rid of all that sugar. And wine can be another great choice. In general, you're gonna to wanna to go with the drier wines, not those sweet sugary ones. A great option is when you're at home, sign up for Dry Farm Wines. They have an organic wine that's basically sugar-free without those 80 pesticides, residues, chemicals, and you're not gonna have the hangover. That's the beauty behind it because it's all clean, it's all organic, and it doesn't have the sulfates. So choose something like that if you really want to still be able to enjoy your wine. It's kind of like having your cake and drinking it too. So to learn how to fit things like alcohol, going out, having fun, and still living a healthy lifestyle while getting the goals that you want, make sure you join our free group on Facebook called the Fit CEO Network as we're here to help you live the life you want the way you want it. Don't forget to comment and share.
And you know, as a world-class coach, I'm all about getting results as easy, fast, and enjoyable as possible. That's why getting yourself an infrared sauna is an absolute no-brainer.